All right, we are live tonight. Thank you for joining us. We are continuing with the story of this nine year old girl allegedly run to death by her grandmother and stepmom. This story has us fired up at HLN. You heard Nancy Gray. She's fired up. Watch this. Stepmommy actually on her iPhone and laptop while the girl dies? The nine year old girl crawling finally? Crawling on all fours, begging this she bitch from hell to let her stop. The grandmother and the mother show no mercy. I just didn't think I could say it better than that. The she bitch from hell, here's what we know so far. Savannah Harden was punished by her grandmother and stepmom for sneaking a candy bar. The third grader third grader was forced to run laps around the house, neighbors say, for at least three hours. This, these are the pictures of this girl. When you see this face, it just, you can't believe it. She carried logs while she ran around the house. Autopsy reports say she suffered arm lacerations from those logs. Tonight, the 46-year-old grandmother faces the death penalty, while Savannah's stepmom, who watched this whole thing, faces a felony murder charge. You're angry about this. I know that because we have Facebook overload. Here are a couple of examples. Valerie writes, a run for a run. Let grandma run the same laps as the, ch the grandchild did before going to jail. Therese says, I can guarantee she, meaning grandma, grew up in an abusive household as well. It all trickles down. It sure does. Join me to discuss this. Attorney Mark Eiglarsh, also Pat Brown, a criminal profiler and author of Only the Truth. Farrah Ashley is a neighbor who knew Savannah and her family. Farrah, thank you for joining us. You, you actually knew Savannah. Can you tell us what she was like? Yeah, she was uh, full of life. She was a little girl just like any other that loved horses, loved cheerleading. She was full of life. She was full Do, of life. Was there, she was a sweet was little Was there girl. any hint? Uh, it, just, it just breaks your heart. I can't, it's hard to even talk about this, but was there any evidence? Were you aware of horrible things going on in that home? No, I was not aware of it at all. Um, my daughter had made a couple of comments um, about, she said, Mom, I feel sorry for Savannah because my daughter and her were really good friends. And she said, I feel sorry for Savannah. They make her run and carry sticks for punishment. And, you know, I, but I wasn't aware of the extent. You know. How are people in the neighborhood and the community reacting to this news? It, you know, it's sad when something this tragic happens so close to home. You know, you, you, never, you never would have imagined something like this, this terrible, you know, what happened to a nine-year-old little girl this close to home. And the neighbors, they can't believe it. Everyone is just, you, just very upset about it. I mean, Farah, li listen, everyone's upset what happened to the nine-year-old, but uh, around the country, people are angry, I mean, really angry, with the stepmom and the grandmother. Isn't there that kind of fury slipping through your community? Yes, they are. I mean, uh, people are very upset about that. Um, they're saying that they think she should receive the same punishment as the little girl did, Savannah. Well, it looks you like know. she may be up for something, perhaps as bad or worse. Shirley in North Carolina wants to sound off on this. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Dr. Drew. What do you got? This grandmother does deserve the death penalty for what she has done. This is not the way to punish a child, and it was a horrible death for this child to undergo. Yeah. This, this grandmother, she used very sadistic punishment for this child. And she has probably used harsh punishment like this in the past. Well, in fact, surely we're finding out from Farrah, who's a neighbor, that her daughter reported that this child was having, she, her daughter, her other third, your third grade daughter, felt bad for the other girl because she had to run and carry sticks as punishment. So this has been going on for some time. You, uh, surely, I'm glad you said the word sadistic because that is exactly what this is. It's sadistic. Are you, are you as angry as everybody else? Yes, I am. She deserves the death penalty, and I heard that on Nancy Grace that she's um, getting medical treatment right now, crying suicide. Let her commit suicide. Mark Iglar, thank you, Shirley. Mark, death penalty, yes or no? 
I, I can't just say no without qualifying. First of all, this is abhorrent behavior by two people who obviously aren't qualified to parent a child. What they did absolutely deserves punishment. It deserves to be prosecuted criminally. That being said, my first thought after, oh my God, this shouldn't have happened, and I feel horrible for this child is, really? Death penalty? A capital case? Drew, I've said it on your show numerous times, Aristotle defined justice as like cases being treated alike. This case, with these facts, typically it's not charged as a capital murder case, and I don't think that it's appropriate. Mark, it, it, you yes. just said it yourself, like gets like. This child is sadistically killed. I understand yeah. there was not intent to kill, but there was a sadistic yeah. intent. That's not like for like? No? No, no. There's a big, we don't mean if a child dies, then the perpetrator dies. We say that other people who commit similar offenses, how are they typically charged? At worst, I would say this is a legal argument. Factually, everybody can say she deserves to die and you're entitled to. Legally, however, we're looking at similar cases. Second degree murder would be the most serious offense I could see this as. Manslaughter, perhaps. But to suggest that this was intentional, to suggest it deserves the ultimate sanction, to understand that not every mother or grandmother who kills their child gets the death penalty. The case law says yeah, you look Mark, at all these cases. I'm going to interrupt yes, you. Mark, I'm the first to come because to you're the very emotional. Of, a, of a mother who is, I am, who, who is psychotic in a postpartum yes. depression or manic state, who kills as part of a psychotic state. I get that person. Does, is that, it did right. a horrible thing, but does not deserve the death, death penalty. I'm going to go to Pat. Pat. Is this another psychopath? Is that what both these women are? Well, I'm working toward that, Dr. Drew, as you know me well. Uh, I, I would see maybe some Munchausen syndrome by proxy here where she's going to torture this child, make her ill, then complain about the child. The child is always causing her trouble. The child is sick all the time. I wonder if she ever really was sick, and that's why she couldn't have that candy bar. But I happen to dis disagree with Mark on one thing. I don't think she's going to get the death penalty only because I don't think the jury is going to give it to her. However, I do believe... If we looked at this as not a child she was taking care of, but just a child, she kidnapped that child because she kept that child in control for three hours, and that child could not leave. The child had to do what she wanted, so she essentially kidnapped that child. Pat. She tortured that child, and hey, this is the thing. She told that bus driver she was going to take that child home, run that child till she dropped. So she was Pat, saying, I'm torturing to that child second? and killing her. Mm -hmm. Pat, Pat, we need to talk here as two professionals in the criminal arena. First of all, so we can meet eye to eye, both of these women deserve to go to prison and they should be punished severely. But Pat, you know, and don't mislead this audience, you know that this case factually cannot plausibly be analogized to those where death is sought. As I said, I don't think she's going to get the death penalty because I agree that this probably will not stand up that way. But personally, I think we ought to get to the point where we recognize when somebody is actually kidnapping a child, and just because it's the child you're taking care of doesn't mean that that child is, should have less rights than the child next door. If I don't gets, disagree with you. That's not the issue. What if she took? That, if she took I don't, hey, think about. Wait, I don't wait, wait, disagree wait, wait, with you. Wait, think about this. Let's say that little girl's friend. Let's say that little girl came over to visit, and her mother wasn't aware of what was going on, and she made the little girl's friend run around the yard for three hours, dehydrating her, they should and torturing go to prison. her, and she died. What would she get? They should go to prison for a long time. They should never for be the able rest to be around of her life. I must. At I least. must interrupt you guys. I think Pat, that's <laughs> a good place to stop for the rest of their life. Please, please, while we're going here, show, show us pictures of this little girl because we've got to remember that's what we're talking about here. I, I, Pat, I must tell you, I, I did one quick clarification. Did, did you say Munchausen by proxy? That's what you thought she had to start with? Well, I'm curious Pat? of whether she's tortured the child in other ways. Yes, and I also right, want to mention may, the I dad. May... Can I say one thing? I think the dad, yeah, he's really well, responsible. He left that child with this mother, who he had to know was an evil, evil, as she bitch, as Nancy put it. So should, the dad should left he get her death there too, with Pat? this woman. I think, should the I think, stepfather oh, get guys, death too? Listen. Should well, we give death to all the neighbors guys, who didn't do anything? Father, the father death, left death, death to everyone. Death to everyone. I've got to go to break. Death to I've got to go to break. Mark, Mark, Pat, you're going to stay with me. Mark, thank you for this. Um, I got to tell you, before I joined HLN, psychopathy was something I rarely saw. Now I feel like everybody's a psychopath. And yes, the dad too. Let's get him. This is all, it's sickening. This whole thing is just sickening. Come on, guys. This is, the, these women are going to go to jail for a long time for sure. Whether she would get the death penalty, the system's going to have to determine that. I know. My viewers want the death penalty for her. Just take a look at our at our